as we reported Monday, one church directly across the street from that crime scene immediately stepped in to help. It's just another example of how that faithful community stands tall in the face of adversity. Ironically, before this shooting, we'd already been working on a story to recognize all the church's good work. Tonight, scene two's David Metzel with proof that a hometown hero can be more than a person. It can be an entire community. Billy and Marty DuBose have been coming to Rock Hills Emmanuel Church of the Nazarene since the 60s. When you walk through this door, you can feel the love. You feel God's love. Its congregation has walked with them through many a valley. We lost a daughter four and a half years ago, and this church was right there. Pastor's praying with Marty as she now faces breast cancer surgery on her 69th birthday. To lose a child is a lot worse than cancer. The church also facing a battle of its own. A former pastor and half the congregation left about a year ago, but one young man felt a strong calling to step up. Our main mindset is to let people know about Jesus Christ and to be able to serve the community in a different way. He come in, he hit the floor running. Jonathan Pinnell and his wife Ashley were both youth ministers starting a family of their own at the time. We have the same vision as he does, the entire church, and all of us is right behind him. Our mission field starts right outside that door. Jonathan and his church reached out to Dr. Ronald King to help with his Christians Feed the Hungry program. So glad to see Jonathan get together with Dr. King. You know, he, he impresses me so much. You have to be doers of the word and Emmanuel Church of the Nazarene is doing what God say do. Jonathan also heading up Emily's House, a ministry started by Emily Elkins of Rock Hill, who passed away at 16 after battling cancer. Emily's House was really important to us because that child just really loved everyone. The church recently holding a fundraiser to help a family crisis center that Emily started planning from her hospital bed. And if that weren't enough, church members also reaching out to the rock in a time of need. Our church wanted to do was to reach out to those without air conditioner and provide a cooling center. Simultaneously, their air conditioning went out. The church opening its doors to rock volunteers and clients. If you need a little help, they, this church opened up the doors to you and treat you like you're somebody. The Bible, it tells us, you know, don't just tell somebody that's thirsty to get a drink. It says give them a drink. And more recently, praying into the night with close family members of those involved in Sunday night's shootings making the Emmanuel Church of the Nazarene the next CN2 hometown hero. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. The church is a big hero. This is holy ground to me. And this could be the match that lights the candle for other churches to do the same. It's an amazing feeling to be able to be recognized as you know, CNT's hometown hero, it's, it's a great feeling. It's just it's letting us know that we're doing things the right way. A love too great to keep inside in Rock Hill. David Metzel, CN2 News. Such a great story right there. Now a few updates for you. Marty's cancer surgery went well, but she will have to go back to remove more cancer on July the 16th. We're certainly thinking of you. Also, the air conditioning at the Rock is now working again, but we're sure if it has another problem, Rock Hill's Emmanuel Church of the Nazarene certainly will be there.